The coastal areas in India are the symbols for plenty and prosperity. Rich in resources, the entire east coast is an important link in the international trade. Yet, tropical cyclones obstruct progress. According to meteorologists, five cyclones develop over the Indian seas every year, four in the Bay of Bengal and one in the Arabian Sea. Nine districts along the Andhra coast are prone to cyclones almost every year. Attention, attention, all hands in cyclone affected areas. Stand by for an important message from Vita Mike Yankee, November, operating from Collectorate Nellore. Once the cyclone warning is given, the ham operators swing into action. First, they establish contact with various relief agencies and set up control rooms at Mandal and district headquarters. The main control room is set up at the state secretariat in Hyderabad, from where the government monitors the situation regularly. Calamities dislocate the electrical and communication links. In many instances, Hams have helped to restore normalcy by organizing a radio communication network. Supply of essential items, rescue and relief operations are monitored by Hams in times of emergencies. Ham, the amateur radio, is a scientific hobby. Realizing the importance of Ham in natural calamities, the Union Government funded the Andhra Pradesh Amateur Radio Society to set up a National Institute of Amateur Radio in Hyderabad in 1983. The institute has become a major training center in a decade of valuable social service. First, let me tell you what is Apart from training, the institute organizes radio clubs throughout the country to promote and popularize ham. Anybody above 12 years of age is eligible to become a radio amateur. No minimum educational qualification is prescribed. However, knowledge of Morse code, procedure for communication and basic electronics are required to pass the examination to become a ham. The National Institute of Amateur Radio at Hyderabad and several radio amateur clubs throughout the country prepare students to get a license. A simple written test and a practical test in Morse code is all that is required to face the examination. Depending on the proficiency, the Wireless Planning and Coordination Wing of the Union Communication Ministry issues a license after ensuring the interests of the candidate. And the duration taken by ADA is equal to three dates. The Institute has a technical wing to develop the state-of-the-art technology for making Morse code sets and transceivers. Interested hands with a little knowledge of electronics can assemble their own equipment from materials available in the local market. On its part, the institute is encouraging import substitution by making code practice oscillator, Morse keys, simple antenna transmitters, receivers and transceivers for distribution to various amateur radio clubs in the country. The equipment developed here can be compared to any international standard. Morse code is an integral part of ham radio service. Amateur operators function as emergency communicators in crisis and hence they are required to know Morse code.
All over the world, many ham operators use Morse code as required by international treaty. Five words per minute for grade two and 12 words per minute for grade one in Morse code can get a ham license. The antenna plays an important role in transmitting and receiving messages. A powerful antenna can receive and send messages to any part of the world. The Institute has an antenna division to fabricate antennas of the required dimension. The amateurs make their own vertical antennas using a coaxial cable and a bamboo pole. While choosing the location, the amateur operator should avoid crossing or running parallel to power lines to avoid electrocution. This also helps in reducing electrical noise while making contacts. Amateur radio operators use very high frequency VHF and ultra high frequency UHF transceivers to receive and transmit messages. The government allows import of sets to amateur operators. The sets up to 50,000 rupees are exempted from customs duty. Out of 6,500 hams in the country, only 1,000 have their own sets. With a view to provide each ham a set, the National Institute of Amateur Radio is manufacturing its own transceivers with locally available material. By spending two to three thousand rupees, free radio into a ham frequency transceiver. Hall, 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 hall. The contacts with indigenous sets are as clear as an imported sets. The effort is on to train amateurs to produce their own sets. How do you copy me, over? Early days in India in 1923, there were 20 British people who were amateurs. In 1980, 81, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, the former prime minister, who happened to be the member in the parliament, took initiatives to promote this very useful scientific hobby in the schools and colleges and also use these red MHOs for voluntary action for natural calamities like cyclones, floods, earthquakes, etc. Ham operators also work as rescue teams to attend SOS signals from sinking or missing ships in the deep sea. Hams also run a general emergency medical network, GEMNET, to serve patients in emergencies. Many a times, life-saving drugs were imported in less than 24 hours from abroad to save critical patients. The radio operators monitor the movement of contesting teams in motor rallies to decide the crucial points. It is their help which keeps the grueling contest alive all the time. Number 14, 14 is 129 QSL. Okay, total 16 vehicles. Then. The operator with a walkie-talkie VHF set is always present in most of the major sporting events. A walkie-talkie is very simple to operate. In international sporting events like the Asiad and the World Cup cricket, walkie-talkies were extensively used. Solid motor ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Columbia and the first flight of the European Space Agency Space Lab. Hams launched several satellites for more efficient worldwide communication. When Space Lab Columbia was launched, it was a historic day for all the hams around the world. 
On the third day of orbit, space scientists in the shuttle exchanged views with ham operators over radio network. Under the law, all hams must have a call sign. Once licensed, a ham is assigned a call sign which consists of a country prefix, a number and the ham's own distinctive letters. India is represented by VU sign. The amateurs play an interesting game called fox hunt, hunting a hidden transmitter. It sharpens the amateur's interest in directional antennas, evaluation of signal strength and locating spy transmitters. This is Juliet Yankee number one. Good morning, sir. Good morning. King Hussein of Jordan is an active amateur operator who operates his high frequency set almost daily. I'm uh, looking down on your country right at this time, sir. The call sign of every ham is printed in a call book which is published every year. Once a contact is made, two hams will mail each other their QSL cards to put it on record. It's a, it's a real great hobby. It gives you pleasure to keep you busy with uh, uh, talking to people within the country and outside the uh, country. Much more than that, development of amateur radio is a great asset to any country. Amateur radio is the forerunner for all developmental activities in the field of electronics. You know, they are all experimentalists. They design circuits, they try the circuits, and come out with certain circuits or devices which are very useful in the later stage in the development of wireless equipment. What this can do to do the international relationships, I think any other amount of propaganda may not do. Hams, as part of their hobby, go on de-expeditions, which means setting up a ham radio station on an island and contacting various hams around the globe. Many de-expeditions were conducted in Lakshadweep, Andamans and other islands. Notable was the Andaman D expedition by Mrs. Bharti in 1987. Within 30 days, Bharti could make more than 15,500 contacts in over 225 countries, creating a new world record. The success of this D expedition put India on the world map for its significant contribution in amateur radio development. It was the first major de-expedition in India by a woman ham operator. The physical strain of operating throughout the day and night, combined with the psychological pressure of working towards a goal, can lead to exhaustion and irritation among the members of the team. But the concerted efforts and the leadership made the Andaman de-expedition a historic event. In 1987, so I made a world record at that time. I covered 225 countries within a month time. So American people have awarded me as an ambassador on the air from Atlanta. Another major area of ham operations is in Kumbh Mela's fairs and festivals. The Godavari Pushkarams, which occur once in 12 years, draw lakhs of devotees from all over the country to the sacred river. The banks of the mighty Godavari near Raja Mandri attracted a huge congregation of pilgrims for the auspicious Pushkara sacred bath for 12 days in 1991. The government made elaborate security arrangements for the pilgrims and maintained round-the-clock vigil. It also requested the ham operators to open control stations at various points to help the administration in monitoring the situation at regular intervals. I had the privilege of working in uh, Godavari Pushkarams as special officer. Uh, during which we had made use of these ham operators. Unfortunately, there was uh, an episode of uh, boat accident in one of these uh, parts. So we could uh, suddenly rush the ham operator there, establish a ham station there, and then uh, there was an effective communication system established between the scene of accident and the disk administration. Thereby, the ham operations uh, have come very handy for us to tackle the situation and to report to state headquarters as to what was happening on a regular basis.
The devastating tidal wave that struck Divisima in 1977 was the takeoff point for Ham to become the second line of communication. To tackle the natural calamities like cyclones on a long-term basis, more than 800 cyclone shelters were set up to provide quick relief. In subsequent cyclones, the rescue and relief operations were better organized with ham radio communication. Essentially, the idea is to take it at least to the mandal level, plus have mobile moving equipment, so that at the cyclone shelters, which have been built up to provide uh, shelter for people during cyclones, we will have a communication network, maybe even mobile parties, which will be our uh, mandal officers who are moving around, or even lower level functionaries. The question is, how soon can you familiarize them with using modern equipment? Now, that's easier said than done, because people change, people have to have an inclination to learn. That is where using a voluntary agency rather than a government training becomes more important. Many prominent film stars, like Kamal Hassan, are regular amateur radio operators. They pursue this fascinating hobby to keep in touch with their fans co-stars and technicians. Another versatile hero, Rajendra Prasad, has very sophisticated equipment and operates on VU-3 RJP from Madras. He made more than 1,000 contacts last year and attempted DXing, which is contacting hams in other countries very recently. Yeah, V2 M boy, this is V3 RJP signing and standing by. Thank you, Surigaru. Bye. Over. Hi. Artist Lung, Mimi Mulla Vincent Megadu. Ilanti Kodaunte, Manam Manam Matlar Puni, Inka Inno Vishal develop chess coach Jutano. Bound the Kadu. In the key Vishal and Megan the Jutrana, Nain Koda Ham member Nandi. Yes, I am V3 RJP. Okay. Mir Koda Kastapadi, license this kuni, Padimandi help chessi, Mir contact chendi, then Mito Matata. Okay? Bye. It is believed that the three letters, ham, stand for the initial letters of the great scientists Hertz, Armstrong, and Marconi, who were primarily responsible for the development of the radio. Ham satellites occupied a significant space in the geostationary orbit, relaying messages around the world. Hams are experimentalists. Bouncing signals off the moon is done regularly to get noise-free transmission. Various governments have now realized the importance of ham. Several countries have already introduced amateur radio as part of the school curriculum. In India, the CBSE has introduced ham as a socially useful project in the school curriculum. Several schools, including scenic schools, have already taken up the hobby seriously. For the physically and visually handicapped, special equipment is designed to pursue this hobby. Computerized amateur radio is fast growing in the country. Connected to a radio modem with a transmitter and receiver, the computers can identify the call sign, transmit and receive messages. Compared to the Japanese uh, 12 lakh amateur radio population, the 6,000 odd number is too small and the not only increasing the number of amateurs the role of amateur radio is to develop technologies in the areas of electronics communications computers space and information sciences and we would like this younger generation to be in step with the latest advances and also use them for their personal pleasure at the same time learning a skill that being the objective that this national institute of amateur radio is now going for more of technical inputs to the students so that they become useful citizens and in the future we would like to have the whole country covered by a, a radio amateur civil emergencies network of radio amateurs 
as a volunteers, forming a group and trying to help in all types of natural calamities like cyclones, floods, or earthquakes. Hams in India remember VU2RG, the call sign of the late Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, and his outstanding contribution to the development of amateur radio in the country. He encouraged the hobby and made a small radio society into a large national institute of international repute. Even a few hours before his death, Mr. Gandhi was in touch with his fellow hams. In memory of the late Rajiv Gandhi, the NIAR named its training complex as Rajiv Bhavan. A spirited effort is on to take this hobby to every nook and corner of the country. The hams are alert and on continuous vigil. When the world is resting, some ham somewhere in the globe is trying to establish contact through his radio. Keep it up, QSL.